much, Mr. Speaker. Our government's budget to be handed down tonight will continue to drive a stronger economy, lower taxes and more local jobs. A key investment is infrastructure, $7.8 billion spending in Victoria, including another $50 million for the Geelong rail duplication, which includes second platforms for Warren Ponds, Marshall and South Geelong. This brings to $150 million our government's commitment, which will unlock congestion and deliver more frequent and reliable train services for Geelong and Colac. Only a paltry $10 million has been provided by state Labor. They need to get on and build it, and that's utterly shameful. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm also delighted we've announced $20 million for the construction of Avalon's new international terminal. This will accommodate the arrival and departure of more than 400,000 international passengers annually as a result of a wonderful deal between Avalon and Air Asia. Victoria's second international airport will boost tourism, freight opportunities, our regional economy and jobs. This is a game changer. I'm incredibly proud of our government's support for Avalon, which is in stark contrast to federal Labor, which unbelievably, Mr Deputy Speaker, in 2008 stopped Avalon from building an international terminal. The member for Corio said this proposal was not in Geelong and Australia's interest. Shame on the member for Corio, who shows what a poor representative he is for his electorate.